Hey guys, it's Dee from Sarah Designs. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're just going to wing it. We're just going to craft. I'm in the mood to craft. And I have to make a birthday card for my stepmom. So I figured we would do it together. I have no idea what I want to do. Except I'm taking inspiration from this pack of... It's actually like cardboard, cardstock that I got from the Dollar Tree. These all look like they are alcohol prints. So I'm thinking we're going to do an alcohol print and then just wing it and go from there. Uh, so if this is something you might be interested in and you're not already subscribed, please make sure you do so. Hopefully my camera works today. Um, We'll see. So, I have no plan other than we're using alcohol markers. And if all fails, we're just going to use one of these cards and call it good. <laughs> all right. Let's get into it. This is where I store my already made alcohol markers. I also have a little roundabout. That's not alcohol, but where I've made my own alcohol markers with act or alcohol markers. I keep saying alcohol markers, alcohol inks. But I made my own with the alcohol markers. You can see some of them in there. And if you'd like me to show you how I make my own, I'd be happy to. Just let me know in the comments. These are some of these are really old. So, I keep them in this roundabout, and I'm going to put this back away, because we're not using that today. We're going to use the ready-made alcohol inks. I got this box from work. Somebody was, we call it Vultures Row, when people have stuff that they don't want, they've accumulated, whether it be like during the holiday season or whatever. And they have containers, and it might have had cookies or mints or whatever in it. And then they just put them up there if they're done with them. And there was a couple of them, so I grabbed them because I thought, why not? These come out, but I have no need to take them out. Um, this is my blow straw. I've since graduated to one of these. And... I haven't done alcohol inks in such a long time. Some of these inks I've never even used, actually. Um, it's been a long, 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 long time. So, we are going to just play today. This might be a long video, and we're just going to play. All right, like I said, I have no plan. Um, first things first, if you're new to alcohol inks, you need, like, a synthetic paper. Because regular paper it just kind of sinks into it. So they have what is called Yupo paper. Yupo paper is from, this one's particular is from Ranger. Five by seven sheets. You can also get them in larger sheets. I have them here in eight by 10 as well. And I hate to use them because, use with alcohol inks, because you only get five pieces and they're kind of expensive. I don't remember how much these were because I'm a cheap crafter. This has 10 pieces of 5x7. So I found a roundabout way to do it, but we're going to try a couple different ways. So here's an actual piece of Yupo paper. Like I said, it's a thick plastic. This is like a vellum-y, and I don't know where this is from, but this is almost transparent. I'm going to play with that. Here's my cheap way of doing it piece of plastic and guess what guys it cost me a dollar 99 cents at Walmart no trespassing sign at Walmart you cut it up it does the exact same effect so that's what I do anyway let's protect our surface and let's play like I said I have no idea as to what I want to do I just want to play and see 
what kind of creativity mess we can make. I apologize for the ring light. Let's put this light on and move the ring light there. See, now you see a shadow. Which is not okay. I'm going to move some stuff around for you. straightened out here we are memory keepers is down here so some of our crafty friends I'm not mentioning names Wanda um, doesn't try to flip her her um, iPad around her tablet around thinking she's in the wrong direction um, so anyway <laughs> let's go playing okay First, we'll use the regular Yupo paper. And I am partial to blues. I really like blue. It makes me happy. I have no idea, guys. I haven't done this in so long. I'm scared. And these I got from Tuesday morning before they were, they went out of business. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to use this light here. Uh, before they went out of business, this is uh, Bria Reese. Never used it. So I have a whole bunch of that. Then I have some of these. Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz. I think that's all I have. Are those. Okay. Right. Anyway, let's get some blues out. And let's play. A little blue. Ultra marine, ultra marine blue. I have a couple. I have dupes. Because Tuesday morning, like I said, was closing up. And they had a, uh, uh, a sale. Lake blue. I also have... The gold mixative. And I have a silver mixative. So I can play with them. Is that all the blues I have? I guess so. What is this one? Let's just let's just dig in and play. This here is an alcohol blending solution. Oh my god, it's been so long, I don't even remember how to do this. This here. Our little alcohol pads that you put on it. You can put the color on here and then schmooze it around. We're going to play. We'll see. Grab a cup of coffee or tea or a glass of wine, which is what I'm going to need. But I don't drink wine. By the end of today, I used to drink wine. It made me gain weight. And it makes me sleepy. All right. Let's turn it this way. I'm scared. It's been a while. I should have watched a video or two before I did this. All this does is push air out. I used to use this and blow. One night, Sarah and I did this, and we were in an enclosed craft room in the old house, and we didn't have a window open. The next day, I had no voice. My throat was so raw from when you're blowing you kind of tend to inhale too and the alcohol fumes are just not good I have a window open right now I'm right next to the window it is opened so I won't be inhaling the fumes but yeah this was that was bad okay so I need to keep you guys there let's Play a little bit. We could probably put some purples in here too. I don't know. What do you think? This one's lavender. This one's purple violet. Another purple violet. This one's a really light one. This is, oh, another lavender. Well, D. You have some dupes. Okay. Let's get started, guys. Um. Honestly, 
honestly don't remember how to do this. We're just going to start out by shake it up. We got Lake Blue right here. I'm just going to put a couple drops. They say you want to keep these covered because apparently they evaporate quickly. See how it's moving? Now we have Sky. I think we want to bow. Sky's very light. Then we have, let's do Lavender. so pretty. Should we smooth it around a little bit and see what happens before it dries out? Some people are artists with this stuff and they know how to move it around and they have turntables or lazy Susans that they just they know which way to go and what makes what design and whatnot. I don't do this enough to have the experience for that. I'm just moving around. So, you see it's starting to dry. I like this effect a little bit though. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's hurting my hand. The blending solution. What that does, it's just, I think it's alcohol and something else. I'm not sure. But it helps to wee-wet wee it. It helps to wee-wet it. So that you can move it around a little bit more. Isn't that cool? That effect right there is cool, but it don't it won't stay. should we do? There was a turquoise. I think, I think I like this color combo though. What do you guys think? A little bit of turquoise. Just a little. Well, not a little too much, but okay. Uh oh. That's, I, that's a messy little Activity we got going on here. Taco sitting behind me. As always. She's being very good though. Today's Saturday. Day I'm filming it anyway. And it's a beautiful day today. Here in Delaware. Let's put... I'm gonna move it around a little bit more. Um, tomorrow is supposed to be chilly, like in the 50s. So I'm not looking forward to that. But it is what it is. All I know is it's not snowing out, and I don't like cold weather. Do we need more purple? I think so. See, guys, you can just go wild and crazy with this stuff. All right. Moving things along. 
I like this. We're going to make a couple panels out of this one, I think. I think I am going to put some gold. See, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just moving shit around. Stuff around. Sorry. I want to shake it up. And... It's still a lot at the bottom. Don't look at my nails. They're a mess. I just took them off. Let's see. I know this isn't the way to do it, but... Get a little silver in here. And not silver, it's gold. Ah. This really does hurt the hand after a while. try blowing. Okay. This is way better. Let me move this. I don't like it blotchy. The gold blotchy. All right, guys, all I did was make a Mod Podge of a mess of some color. That's what we did. It's actually okay. It's pretty-ish. <gasps> Look at the back. I made a mess. I made a mess. But that's what happens when you play. Okay. I'm going to set this aside somewhere and then it won't be all over stuff and we're going to try this paper and we're going to use this thingy we're going to use a new one this is velcro on it it's just a felt thing and it's from tim holtz and it's similar to the little round ones, you know what I mean. Little round things. Okay. Should we do a different colors? Let's do different colors. Let's do. I want to do pink. Neon. Oh, neon pink. I don't think so. Blush. Neon orange. Apparently, we got some neon going on here. Yellow. Pink. Alright. And what we're gonna do here a little bit there. Ugh. God, I'm getting too old for this. Color is this pink. I think that's gonna be too much. Let's do the yellow. Mm. Yellow. Let's just repeat it. Pink. Oh, that was blush. This is pink. And this is yellow. All right. Then I do know. We need to add this to it. And then, ready? Put 
problem with this is you waste so much of this. Once you get that design. That's that. That is that. Okay. Let's put that aside and let's do, let's do the no trespassing sign. I am going to cut it down. We're not working with such a huge piece. Cuts really easily. Um, okay, you have two poses. So for 99 cents, you could get one, two, three, four, probably five or six pieces out of it. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going here, shall we? Let's try the neon. We have neon orange, neon yellow, neon pink. Do we have neon blue? Oh, we have green. Oh, we should do greens. Oh, there's so much to do. All right. Try neon. Wow, that's neon. That's a neon. Now it's all becoming orange. Once this dry, we'll put some dominant paint in there and see. Ugh. Yes, it's all over me. Like a big old neon alcohol explosion. All right, we're gonna let that dry for a second. I'm such a sloppy crafter. Let's see what happens when we do this. Oh. We're smoozing it. Okay, that's not pretty. That is not pretty at all. You can clean this up with alcohol. Just spray a little bit of alcohol on your surface. This is a mess. That's still wet and going strong here. Where did neon pink go? I want to put some more pink in there. And then should we do some gold on that? I'm not feeling this one. This kind of mixes, the colors mix together here. Yeah, I'm not feeling this one. Let's just put some gold in here. Let's wait for it to dry. Ugh. All messed up, that's all mess. Where am I gonna put this? I 
I don't want to put it anywhere. Or I'm going to put it over here. Where it's going to mess up anything else. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's fix this one. Um, we put green on there. It'll turn to muddy, muddy. Let's just do... What's this one? Blush. Blush and yellow. Let's see what we get. I'll show you if I can find... Oh yeah, I do have it over there. Some stuff I did years ago. Matter of fact, I think it was the night that Sarah and I ended up feeling a little intoxicated from the fumes. We didn't realize at the time that this needed to be ventilated. Do I not have an orange? is butterscotch. That is not orange. You are not orange. Hmm. Put a little highlighter yellow in there. Okay. This is the kind of project where you want to sit and just do a whole bunch of these, make a whole bunch of backgrounds. At least this is what I would do anyway. And then another time, sit and go through and just create cards with the backgrounds or die cut them out. Or whatever. It's not like a one and done thing because you pull all this out. You have you have stuff everywhere. What other color do we want in there? It's like when you do um, the jelly printing too similar thing once you have it all out you just want to there's a neon orange did we know we had this did we use this we did use this this is the one that took over um anyway it's one of those ones where, like once you have everything out you don't want to take it out make a big mess and then just put it back just for one project I mean, you could sticking a red in there. You know why? Because I can. And you know what? We can do this. Can you guys see this? use some gold in there too I think huh that's over there that's there yeah 
I want to do, I'm still using this. Like I said, it works the same. Sorry, I have my things in my mouth. It works the same as a Yupo paper. Let me get this one I done. I like the wispy, wispy look. And see the little dots, little bubbles. This I used a heat gun. As you can see, it's all warped. Um, and I don't remember how I did the dots. I think I might have used a dropper or something. I don't remember. We'll try it. We'll figure it out. Let's do a light turquoise, though. No. Oh, we wanted to do greens. Let's try greens. This is called cobalt green. And Kelly green. You know, we could do some yellow. Oh, it looks like military. I'm trying to now be very very what's the word? Very intentional on where I'm putting it or where I'm blowing it. Meaning I want it inside. You know what, the more I think about it, I think I used a hair dryer for that effect. There was a girl on here, I think her name was Flo, on YouTube. She did a lot of alcohol, beautiful stuff, alcohol prints, and I don't know what happened to her. I know she was sickly. I hope, I hope she didn't pass, but uh, my condolences if she did, but she was an artist with this stuff, and I watched a lot of her videos, and I think that's where I learned how to do those bubble things. If I can find her videos, I'll link them below. Okay, the yellow is looking gross. The yellow looks nice, but the green looks gross. Do we have another green? We have this. I don't think that'll look right, though. Let's turn thin this screen out a little bit. Should we add some blue? Like the stuff that's fine at the bottom of the lake. More yellow, she says. Let's do the butterscotch.
I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I'm just blowing it around, I'm trying to cover the paper. Okay. I think we've destroyed this one enough. All right, one final one I wanna do. And then we'll try to fix these up. Let's put this down first. Be a little deliberate, deliberate, deliberate. Like where we put this? And what else we got in here? Do. All right, so what happens? Where'd the blower go? You have to work quick with this stuff because it evaporates quick, it dries quick. I have a Lazy Susan that I got especially, specifically to do this with years ago. And guess what? It's downstairs in my kitchen. I use it in my kitchen. <laughs> All right, let's give it a little, little help here. Some more yellow, huh? What I'm trying to do now is not mix it too much of it together, but enough of it so that it kind of blends. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. From this, even though I have my windows open. I'm gonna let these dry. And close all this up. Make sure everything's closed up and then I'll be back. Alright guys, this orange one is still wet. But I want to move on. I tried to clean up a little bit. I am out of alcohol. Um, isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. I can't say it. So I haven't been able to clean my hands, which is how you would get that off. Um, <clears throat> so these are. This is still wet. This is still a little damp. 
but it'll we'll, we'll be fine this one here you can see the shine that means it's still wet this one here still wet but I wanted to show you guys in this one here this technique here I really am not too fond of here's one I found an old one I had done um, anyway I wanted to show you guys really quickly how you get the little little bubbles little dots what you do is you take alcohol you take one of these stylus I got this at the Dollar Tree it's got a big end little end I poured a little bit of this alcohol blending solution on it on a block and all you want to do I don't know if I want to do it on this yeah we might might as well you dip it little circle kind of spreads out so you want to do little, 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 little. You guys see that? That's how you make them. Here's the teeny tiny end. Teeny tiny end. If you leave it on long enough, it makes big circles too. So you want to be careful with that. So that's how that works. Um, hi guys, real quick update. I wanted to let you know, I did use the heat gun. This one is on the regular Yupo paper, if you remember. It started to smell and warp really quickly, so I had to stop. The one when I did it on this, which is still kind of wet, still sticky, um, on the no trespassing sign, did not warp, but you have to keep it moving. Did not warp, did not warp did not warp at all this one did not warp either this one I didn't have to do because it dried pretty quickly so but I also wanted to let you know I don't want to do it on this one but on here if it's still can you guys see it's still tacky see if it's shiny the shiny sticky parts are tacky this is Gildan Flakes. Be very careful with it. These are gold. I have silver also. Um, you can take it and put it on the sticky parts. If it doesn't stick to your fingers. And you could make a beautiful little something with that gives it a little bit of extra I'm taking it out of here building flakes are very thin and will fly away and they will get all over If it's still wet, it'll do it. If it's still tacky. See? It's beautiful. Gives it a beautiful effect. This one... You might be able to get a little bit on it. It's more of it stuck to my finger than anything. That's fun. A fun thing to do. Is this wet at all? Oh, this one still has some tackiness. Of 
Prim has come to say hi. You coming up? No? You being shy today? That's not like you. It'll stick where it wants to stick. Usually it's a pretty cool effect. Just a little added extra oomph. I didn't want to rub this one because it's still, this one's still really wet. Pretty cool, huh? You could do silver or gold. Or gold. I prefer gold, like I said. This one's pretty much dry. Yeah, this one we're not going to get much to stick to. A little here and there, maybe. So that was just like a little added... There he is. A little added something, something that you might want to do. You know, I got building flakes and alcohol all over the craft room. But I just wanted to show you guys that something extra you can do. If you want it. I'll be picking these things up for days now. I lost a foot for this thing and it keeps wobbling. Okay, we're done with this stuff. Okay, that's that. All right, guys, I'll be back with uh, part two, and we can do, we can actually make some cards with this. So, I'll see you in a few. All right, guys, that's the video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so, and stay tuned. I apologize, this one was a really long one, but I was just having fun, but... Stay tuned for the next video, and we're going to make a card out of all this. We're just going to do one. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.